Okay, so the project right now is we're going to do a little bit of work to the dump truck here. So I'm going to start it up and then move it up here. It's a little bit flatter right here. So we'll pull it up, let it warm up a little bit, change the oil, and start tearing into some things. The only difference in changing oil in a big truck, and like your car, is really you just need a bigger drain pan. And if nobody tighten this on here, I should be able to take it off of this wrench. Super tight. I think this thing holds five gallon, I think. I could be wrong though. Maybe. All right. should take care of the rest of that now for the oil filter I just try and get a screwdriver and punch a hole in it Take that. Get the filter to twist. A little bit and get it broken loose. Then you can let the oil out of that.
does it have fuel in it? Just so you guys know, I did pre-fill these with oil. That's probably uh, recommended. This does have a magnet on it, which is nice, but there wasn't a whole lot of junk on the magnet. So that's always a plus. And there's a copper washer on here. It's still stuck on here. So I'm just gonna clean this surface up a bit and put this guy back on here. If you're wondering, here's the uh, oil filter number. They're both the same. So it takes two of those guys. I'm not sure why, but this back one when I popped it loose had like diesel fuel in it. So that's uh, less than ideal. But anyways, let's get this guy filled back up with oil. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Is there a way I can turn this? This is gonna take a while. A few moments later. Before we start this guy up, this muffler here is all rusted out. Right here, it actually come out and went to a stack, which is all gone. We'll have to make a new one. But that's not high on the priority list, but I figured, hey, this thing's gotta come off anyway, so we might as well take it off and see what she sounds like straight piped, all right?
That guy's off there. Well, let's get the hangers off. and a half hours later. even using the chisel getting it back it's about to come off but we ran out of air so fire the truck up get some more air booger was a bear but we got it yeah she sure was on there anyways now what what i was hoping to do anyways was see what it sounds like now
Okay, I need to fix this air leak. Somebody added this quick connect coupler on here, which is nice, but it's leaking, so that ain't no big deal. There we go. So the next air related issue is with this seat here. It's being held up by a board. And it is an air ride seat. It's got some kind of air mechanism under there and a little airbag. But here's the line that used to go to the seat. It has been undone and kinked off so it don't leak. And what I'm thinking is I found the line for the seat up under there, the one off the airbag. So I'm thinking is I'm just gonna put a quick connect on this guy and then hook it there and leave this kink in it. And then whenever you need air for your seat, you can just loosen this kink and it'll air up. So we're gonna try that and see if it works. So I'm gonna take this guy and cut it. Right in there should be pretty, pretty decent. And here's the new uh, quick connect fitting. You can just push on there and then if you ever wanna release it, you just pull down on this and it pops off. Got a new piece of airline here. I think in the safest location to route this would be right up through here. Now you guys can't really see what I'm doing. But I was tapping into this airbag somehow. sufficient and then we will just take this guy cut that right in there And what I really should do to make that more a better setup is uh, put a little shutoff valve there to open it, but that should work. Let's build some air up and see if we can get the seat air up. See if we can get this seat to air up now. So I should be able to reach back here, loosen up this guy. Well, we aired it up. There we go. Well, at least that's fixed. I don't have to sit on a board anymore. So that's a plus. So guys, I got a question for you. Let me know down in the comments. What do you think? I'm at the point where this cab is not really worth a whole lot on this truck. It's done being patched. There's holes in the floor. Let's see if I can show you. You can see there's holes in the floor. This side has done been patched once. And there's a hole up here. Right through here where water's been leaking in. And 
That whole side of the floor is all rusty. The underside of the cab is really rough. That's been patched up there. See if you can see under there, but it's all rusted. So that being said, I could patch it up. Get by for a year or two. At the same time, I'm thinking if I go through all the trouble and all the work to fix up this truck, we might as well just change the cab is what I'm thinking. Here's this side. So I mean, it's, I think it's at the point where this cab is pretty much done for. See if we can see up under there. Yeah, that support beam there is rotted off, so. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Here's the other cab I got on this U-Haul. Uh, and as you can see, it's got surface rust starting, but it's all, it's all in really, really good shape. Now the interior is different, but everything should be interchangeable. Should be able to just swap out the dash and the seats and stuff. So that's kind of what I'm thinking here is it might just be worth it. Go ahead and swap this cab because I need the hood anyways. The doors on the other one need replaced. And if I'm, I think if I'm doing all, you know, going this far to do it, I might as well throw this guy on there. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I figured I'd throw that out here. Well, I believe that's all I have today worth video. So I'm going to... At some point, get caps and cap off all these excess lines. Because the only thing I'm running with this is that one cylinder. It's got rear remotes and three or four front uh, remote hookups. So, let me cap all them and get rid of all the stuff we don't need. But, anyways, I guess that'll wrap this one up for now. So, you guys have a good day.